The drop links, green arrow, connect the sway bar, red arrow, to the wheel carrier, blue arrow. They assist in controlling body roll in the vehicle, and when they wear out, they can produce slop in your suspension. Use a T30 torque to prevent the threaded link from turning and a 16mm wrench to remove the old nut. This is demonstrated in this image on the lower link to show you how it is done. It is hard to get a good picture of the procedure on the upper link. If you are just removing the bar, you only need to undo the upper link. This is a really good time to check the conditions of your links and replace them as needed. Use a 13mm socket and loosen the mount for the sway bar. It is a really good idea to support the sway bar before removing the bracket and certainly before you remove the opposite side. The bar will swing and drop when you remove the opposite side and it can chip the powder coating and damage the bar. The bushing, red arrow, and mount will stay on the bar when you remove it. Check and clean the bar. Lightly sand and repaint any surface rust. If the bar has been bent, damaged, or has more than surface rust, it should be replaced. Remove the mount from the bushing. The bushing is split, red arrow, and easily separates from the bar. Installation is the reverse of removal. Torque the 13 millimeter bolts to 23 newton meters or 17 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.